password managers. Would you pay for RoboForm? For those that don't know what RoboForm is, it's a way of storing your passwords and placing them on a quick dial. Um, RoboForm works via certain browsers, uh, be them Chrome, Internet Explorer, Opera, um, etc. The problem is this only works with mainstream browsers. Um, browsers such as Maxton, it doesn't work with. I have to say, cyber systems that provide RoboForm to their customers, I'm not overly happy with at the moment. Primarily because I paid for RoboForm 6. I then um, upgraded to RoboForm 7 where I had to pay again. Um, my other machine I did a fresh install on last week. I did, chose not to install XP Service Pack 3. I just thought I'd leave Service Pack 2 um, on there for, uh, this time around. Roboform didn't like it. It said I had to go and buy another license. Now, I thought, stuff cyber systems. I ain't going to give you any more of my money. I'm going to go and find a free alternative. Not only that, it's pretty useless with Maxon browser, which is what I'm running at the moment. One of the best browsers you can probably get. Um, so what I basically did is I looked for a freeware alternative um, and I found a program called KeyPass. You've probably heard of KeyPass before. I will just give you a little demo of it. This is a freeware utility. It doesn't cost you anything. I'm just going to launch it now. Enter master password. Hey, Right, there we go, we're logged into all our passwords now. Right, as you can see, this does differ from RoboForm somewhat because um, it doesn't exactly put your passwords on speed dial, you have to cut and paste them. As you can see here, we obviously, if you want to look at um, gaming, we would click here. If you wanted to um, display your password, you would click that button there of the dots which would reveal the password you could then cut and paste it into the browser so overall it's not quite as convenient as RoboForm um, the main advantages of using KeyPass over RoboForm however are it's browser independent in other words um, you don't have to worry what browser you're running whereas RoboForm will only run with a particular browser uh, based on a plugin which has been programmed for it so we can use this with any web browser we want. Um, now RoboForm has um, a facility to allow you to sync passwords um, using a RoboForm Everywhere account. Again, complete waste of money. I think I've, I've got the prices on here somewhere. Let's have a look at RoboForm, shall we? Their products they're doing. Right, here we go. I'm going to do a comparison now. RoboForm Everywhere. This is on Cyber um, Systems website, trying to sell you their crappy product. One price for multiple computers and devices. Price $9.95. Can sync your passwords between computers and devices. Yep, that will work. Um, again, the charge is $9.95 for that. You can do that free with KeyPass, um, that freeware password manager I've just showed you. Um, the only extra you have to install is Dropbox which is, a, is another free utility you can download for syncing data between computers. Now that sounds a better deal to me, I'm sure you agree. KeyPass and Dropbox doesn't cost you bugger all. RoboForm on CD. Backup CD in addition to immediate download. Well, 4 95 they want for that. I wouldn't pay that. Useful as a coaster for your cup of coffee in the morning. Um, let's scroll down here. Special limited offer. Add to your order and save. Well, let's see what we're saving here, shall we? Good Sync Desktop 8 for Windows. Easy, reliable. Sync and back up your important files. Use on a single computer. Crap. So basically, you want to go and sync multiple machines, you have to go and buy another license priced at $19.95. And if you've got about two or three computers, you're talking serious money. Right, 
what I would do in this scenario, install KeyPass and Dropbox, which would solve the problem. Again, both are free. Good Sync to go for Windows. Use Good Sync on a single USB drive. Right, the only downside with Dropbox is we cannot run it as a portable app. Um, which is a bit of a shame really, but uh, this says um, you know you can use it on a USB drive, uh, they're good sync software. Bear in mind I wouldn't want to pay twenty nine ninety five for this piece of crap. I'd much rather use a free alternative. KeyPass by the way, you can download a portable version which you can run off a USB drive, it won't cost you nothing. Good sync desktop for Mac. Use good sync on a single Mac computer. Again, if you're dealing with multiple Apple Macintoshes, you have to go and buy multiple licenses. Priced at £29.95. Now, would you want to go and do that? No, you would go and find a copy of KeyPass for Apple Macintosh, which, again, is free. Right, other niggles of RoboForm. As I uh, shortly mentioned previously in, in the video, I paid for RoboForm 6. I then had to go and upgrade to RoboForm 7 to support um, the latest browsers, well, uh, which I was uh, had to pay again. Then installed it on my other computer, moaned I, it wanted another license and I had to pay again. So, as far as cyber systems are concerned, stick your RoboForm right where the sun doesn't shine. It's useless because it's tied into the web browser itself. It doesn't run under Linux. Again, I've found KeyPass for Ubuntu, so I've gone and exported all my RoboForm passwords into KeyPass now, and they're running very nicely. So, lesson here, don't go and buy RoboForm, go and um, download KeyPass and Dropbox, sync your passwords between your machines for nothing. Final niggle, um, RoboForm for Android. Yes, you can get it, I didn't like it. I have to say, I'm more at home running KeyPass on Android and Dropbox on Android. Again, I can sync my passwords between my Android phone and two PCs quite very happily. So there you go. A final sum up of what I think of RoboForm. Again, great for having your passwords on speed dial. Useless because it's tied in with um, any more popular browsers. Won't work with Macs on 3. Won't work with Ubuntu. So... Don't buy it, it's a waste of money. Go and use a free alternative like I have suggested in my video. Anyway, I hope I've hopefully I've saved you some money. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.